Uh, dan wil ik graag het woord nu geven aan Kwaku. I'm welcoming you all today, being Sunday. And before I continue saying anything, I first want to explain what Sunday means in our tradition, in our custom as Ashantis. When somebody is born on Monday, we call him Kodu. Tuesday, we call him Kabra. Wednesday, we call him Kwaku. Thursday, we call him Yao. Friday, we call him Kofi. Saturday, we call him Kwame. And Sunday, we call him Akwasi. That is side of the man. If a woman is born on Monday, he's called Ajwa. Tuesday, she's called Abna. Wednesday, she's called Akuya. Thursday, she's called Ya. Friday, she's called Afia. And Saturday, she's called Ama. Sunday is Akosia. So today, whoever is born on Sunday and is present here, it's your day. It's not my day because I'm born on Wednesday, so I'm Kwaku. <laughs> and why we name people born on Sunday as Akosia and Kwasi is that the Ashantis, the Akan people, we believe that we were the first people to be on earth. Because Akan, it means first. So we the Akan people believe that we were the first people to be on earth. Meaning, black people were the first people to be on earth. This one, nobody can disprove it till the today. They know it is true. Sunday means that washing of our clothes. Because Monday, we go and then search whether it is work or it is money or it is any trade. We search it on Monday. So we call it a juada. A juada, ju in the Akan language, in the Ashanti language means taking something from the ground, searching for something. Tuesday means dinner, which you set it on fire to cook it. So what you have set on Monday, then you set it on fire to cook it. On Wednesday means peeling. So what you have cooked, if it is cassava, Monday you go and look for the cassava. Then Tuesday you put it on fire, and then Wednesday you peel it. So Thursday, your water means you are drying it. You are drying it. So Friday you show the food or the money you have get, the business you have get, the trade you have made, whatever you have learned, you show it on Friday. Then Saturday you relax and eat. So Saturday, normally the Akan people preserve it as a sacred day. We don't have to work hard. We keep silent. If you have thought of reading the Bible and all other religions, most of them are in relation to what we believe before the coming in of the white man or the Bible or anything. This is what we believe. And Sunday after, Monday after, no, Saturday after eating everything, Sunday, then we wash our clothes. We wash everything that has been dirty throughout the whole week and then we show it outside because we are preparing to begin another week. Fortunately for us, today marks a landmark of world history for this gathering being Sunday where we are washing all the clothes, whatever has brought us, tearing us apart, setting us in diaspora in different places. Today we are calling the spirits to come. As we have poured the libation and I'm standing here, I stand here in the form of spirit and in the form of human being. Because some people are asking, why now? There is appointed time for everything. We should have done this thing long time ago. But we believe directly that God is the controller of everything. And anything that happens to us will never be there forever and ever. There is a time that God will speak. So we are speaking now, believing that 
the Most High God is controlling. I stand here in the name of Asante Heritage Worldwide Movement. Why Asante Heritage Worldwide Movement? History has made us understand that many hundred years ago, something went on. Something happened. What went on? What happened? It tore us apart. People moved from Africa. People moved from the by force, voluntarily, by trick, lies, and a whole lot of things to partition and to scramble and to divide and rule, to destroy the black race. When it happened, I was not there. You were not there. None of us here was there. But we have been victims. We are feeling the pain within our hearts. And how long can we sit down unconcerned for this thing to happen? That when fellow black man see another black man, he goes to left and then you go to right. Because every day our mind is filled with problems that we never know when and where these problems will get solved. So already we are confused. And if somebody wants to rule you, the best thing he can do is to get you to be confused so that you can never sit down and reason. But by the power of the Most High God, as we believe, that confusion, the solution, had come this very day. Let's clap for ourselves. As I'm continuing, I know we have different ideas we have had different stories you have been to school and they have written a lot of books that you have learned the whole of your lifetime till this very day you have heard other side of the story about slavery that fellow brothers sold their fellow brothers and a whole lot of falsifications and lies and other things which today alone cannot serve to answer all the questions but the hum with humbleness, respect, I'm saying that whoever's heart is burning should have patience because with patience we can move the mountain. When you are planning to destroy, you know many avenues through which ways you can achieve your goal. The planner who came to create these problems knew how he should and how and when he should be able to succeed in doing that. He didn't just come for nothing, he came with a purpose. That purpose has created a lot, a lot of wound in our hearts. So it is not only today that we can finish solving the problem, but be part of the propagation. The story I'm about to tell, tell to your children and let your children also tell to their fellow friends, so that the mindset of hating one another can be removed. First, who are the Ashantis? We are the Ashantis. You are the Ashanti. You feel it in your spirit as I'm talking. Because it's a mystical statement that I'm talking. But you who knows, feel it in his or her heart. The Ashantis, we come from Buddha. If you have ever thought of reading the Bible, there were 12 tribes of Israel, and 10 of them belonged to one part, and two of them were separated. The two of them were the black race, and they were chased. So in the year 70 BC, the Romans attacked us when we were living in Judah. And we moved from there to come to Egypt, to set the pyramids, and to do a whole lot of things, which time will not permit me to finish these statements. So I will cut it short by short. But sequentially, we'll be having these gatherings and we'll give you the books. What I'm telling you is not something that has not been written in books. It is oral archaeology. This is what our great ancestors told one after the other, one after the other, one after the other, one after the other, to this very day that I'm telling you. I was slim, lucky, to get closer to some of these parents who narrated the story to me. So during the days of my school, mostly I had a whole lot of confrontations and big arguments with my masters because they were teaching us what our ancestors said were not true. Because 
maybe you did not have the opportunity to hear this, then the indoctrination and the false acceptance of the untrue story sank into your mind. But as a fellow black man with love, I'm telling you what happened. We the Ashantis, when we were attacked in Egypt by Alexander the Great and Joan of Arc, Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, all the big philosophers you can think of in the world, they came to study from us. Yes. When they studied, instead of saying that, oh, you have done well to invent this, to do that, then they never want us to have the glory. So they decided to destroy the pyramids. That is what is this very day. You will never see any pharaoh with a nose. All the nose of the pharaohs are broken. Because they don't want anybody to see that the pharaoh was a black man. Then, when they were gathering forces to destroy us, because we believe directly and we believe in God, we said, no, we will never sit down for these people to, to destroy us. We will move. So we move. Why did we move? We believe in our kings. We believe in our spirits. And we believe in our power. That once we believe in God, there is no power that we will yield to or succumb or koto or go down. Instead of surrendering, then we die. I think even if you go to Suriname, different type of people are living there. Each and every one want to have his power because it is the genes of human beings as a group of people to maintain their power. There were wars in Africa for maintenance of power. Then the Arabs came as the Amorabits from Spain to force us to forget about our religion. That is the belief, the direct belief we have with God to forget about that <coughs> and to tend to be Arabs. And our life is what we believe in. Then we said, no. He who fight and run away will live to fight another day. These people have gathered much forces that they want to destroy our dynasty. We will vacate the land and go and seek refuge somewhere. So that if we are able to gather our forces, we will go back and fight them. But one remarkable thing about Ashanti is we like farming. Because every Ashanti man believes that you have to seek for your own bread to eat. So work hard. Because we believe that you don't have to go and kneel down before somebody to give you what you can eat. Because if you don't have anything, even you pray to God, He is able to provide your needs. So we believe in farming. So when we migrated from Egypt, we started farming. And one remarkable story that the Most High God also gives the Ashantis is that any land that we set foot on, gold must come on that land. So that even if we have nothing to eat or to feed on, as a covenant between we and Yahweh, we, we will know that He is with us. So other people started identifying peculiar and differences about the Ashantis as compared to other people, and we are having continuous attacks. There was attack between us and the Amoravis. The Amoravis were the Arabs. This time the slavery have not started with these Europeans. The Arabs came first. With Osman Danfodio and some people. So they captured and ruled over a lot of religions in Africa. That is why if you go to Africa now and you go to certain countries, they don't have kings over there. You will never see them get, 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 I mean, gathering here like our queen is sitting here, our elder brother, our elder man, the, that is a Bushyapen. When you say Bushyapen, it means the whole clan or the, the whole family, the godfather is the 